everybody, and welcome to You Know It, the game show. Today, we're bringing people together two clues at a time. Today, we have four talented and gorgeous individuals who will try to stump each other with brilliant questions written by our crack team of writers, which actually is me. Um, today, we have Bill in Los Angeles. Vanessa is in Culver City. Abby is in Ohio. And Deidre is in Mississippi. So we have people scattered all over the country. And it's very, very, very exciting. The game, which we're going to start in a second, is very simple. When it's your turn, you are the challenger. And you are going to challenge one of your uh, opponents, one of the other contestants, to answer one of the questions. And if they get it right, they get the points. And if they get it wrong, you get the points. The twist is that everybody has an opportunity to steal. And they can steal one question by yelling out, I know it! Um, if you try and steal and you get it wrong, though, uh, you will be penalized. So keep that in mind. The challenger cannot steal. And the answerer can preempt any steals by yelling out, I know it. But be aware that whenever I hear I know it, I will stop reading immediately. And there are two clues. So if you say I know it before the second clue... You're dealing with uh, not as much information, but sometimes you already know it, right? So you got to say, I know it. And you will immediately have to answer. You will have 10 seconds after you say, I know it, if you do. Um, if you don't say, I know it, and you have to think about it, we'll give you a little bit more time. It'll be like 15 seconds. So we randomly set up the order ahead of time. So we're going to go with Dietra and then Vanessa and then Bill and then Abby, and then we'll go around. So I'm going to ask... Uh, our lovely producer, Yogi, to show us the topics. So the topics are Shakespeare, states, voices, sports, music, the easiest question, the surprise question, which is always worth double points, <clears throat> elemental, not really ancient history, and really ancient history, space, <laughs> and high school students. Everybody you can see on the scoreboard has got one steal to go, and the scores are now even at zero. So each question now is currently worth 10 points, except for the surprise question, which is worth double. It, after four questions, the value of the questions goes up to 20. And then after four more questions, when there's only four left, the value of the questions goes up to 30. So if you leave that double uh, surprise question until the end, it'll be worth 60 points. OK, Deetra, let's get this going. Okay. You are the challenger. Pick a topic and then pick an answer. Uh, okay, how about um, really ancient history, and I'll go with Abby. All right, Abby. Really All ancient right. history. Are you ready? Yes. I have a question for you. Who was taught by Plato and taught Alexander the Great? Who was taught by Plato? Alexander the Great. Um, I don't know. Oh, Need no. an answer. Uh, uh, d -d 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 taught by Plato. Um, uh, d -d 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 uh, da Vinci, because I don't know. <laughs> No, it was Aristotle. Oh. All right, so moving on, it is now uh, Vanessa's turn. Um, I'll do high school students for Bill. All right, high choice. Oh, yes, high school students for Bill. Yes. Oops. <laughs> okay, so Bill, and again, yeah. everybody's everybody's got to steal, so everybody can steal except for Vanessa. OK, so, Bill, who was Time Magazine's person of the year in 2019 and is the granddaughter of the actor who voiced the Swedish cartoon character Bumza, the world's strongest bear? You're a voiceover artist, so you should know this. Uh, I'm going to go with Lee Van Cleef. <laughs> Uh, you left off the part where it was the Time Magazine's Person of the Year in 2019. Vanessa, what is the answer? Uh, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. And of course, 
her grandfather was the world famous voice actor uh, Olga o- Olaf. I don't know his first name, but his last name is Sternberg. <laughs> All right, Bill. It's your turn. So far, we have no points at all. <laughs> Excellent. Um, all right. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to go voices, because why not? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw that back at Vanessa. All right, Vanessa. Now, everybody's still got to steal, except Bill. Bill can't steal this, and uh, I suspect he's the only one who could answer this. Um Vanessa, what actor made his film debut in Ralph Bakshi's animated film Wizards and won multiple awards for voicing the Joker over multiple decades? Uh, <laughs> um, an actor? An actor, voice actor, not really known for voice acting, but... Bill knows who it is, right? Yeah, I I think I do. I, I you know I didn't know about Ralph Bakshi. Oh, sorry. I'll say um I'll say uh Joaquin Phoenix. Very 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 good. Except that Wizards came out in 1977 and Joaquin Phoenix was two. <laughs> and Bill has actually worked with this guy. Who is it? Mark Hamill. That is right. Mark Hamill, better known as Luke Skywalker. Oh, wow. But oh, wow. When, when, <laughs> when he wasn't making Star Wars movies, which was decades, he was voicing the Joker. And Wizards came out like a month before Star Wars. And as a total hardcore geek, that was an important movie for me for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey. is there, and Mark is a brilliant voice actor. Yes, he is, a, he is a great voice actor. And now it is Abby's turn. Let's take a look at the topics. All right. Can I do elemental? And can I give that back to Deetra? All oh, right, Deetra. Time. Thank you. Elemental. <laughs> Deetra, and again, everybody can steal except for Abby. Uh, Deetra, what element is always a part of fire and water? I know it. Oh, Vanessa knows it. What is it? Oxygen. That's right. First steal goes to Vanessa. Awesome. Nice. Go, Ox- go on, Vanessa. <laughs> right. All right. So that's the end of uh, the first round. We've gone. Everybody's got a chance to go. Hold on. What? What happened? That was great. Okay, great. So everybody's gone once. Uh, so it's the end of round uh, one. So the point values are now going to go up to 20 points. Um, lovely disembodied voice. What's the current score? John, the current score is Dietra with 10 points, Bill with 10 points, Vanessa with 20, and Abby doesn't have any points yet. Okay, that's fantastic. Are you sure about that? Does Bill have 10 points? When, when did Bill get 10 points? Was Bill I got... I couldn't answer mine, so he got Well, wow, that's, that's pretty harsh, John. <laughs> <laughs> what, when did he get 10 points? When when the question that he posed was not answered correctly. Oh my gosh, that's right. I've totally forgotten how this game works. <laughs> Do not question the lovely disembodied voice. No, I won't ever again. Okay, great. This this All is right. very confidence inspiring. I know. <laughs> All right, right. All right. And then who's uh, lovely disembodied voice? Who has their steals left? The steals, uh, only Vanessa has used her steel. Deetra, okay. Bill, and Abby still have steals left. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now it's Deetra's turn. Uh, all the points are worth 20 points. So what are you going to do, Deetra? Uh, let's go with sports, and let's go with Bill. All right, Bill, sports. So An- uh, an- Another brilliant choice. Abby can, um, yeah. <laughs> Abby can steal, <laughs> Vanessa cannot steal, and neither can Deetra. Uh, okay, Bill, what sport was invented by Native Americans over 900 years ago and is the official summer sport of Canada? I think Vanessa knows. The official summer said. sport of Canada? <laughs> I'm, I, I am going to go with basketball. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> the answer is, Vanessa? I play it. It's called lacrosse. It's called lacrosse. Oh, okay, all right. Fantastic. All right, so now it's Vanessa's turn. Take a look at the top. Right. What's that? I get those points. Yes, that's right. You get those points. You get 20 points. 
Vanessa, what are you going to do? Um, can I do surprise for Abby? All right. All surprise right. for Abby. All right, Abby. This is worth 40 points. Okay. What sea is part of the Atlantic Ocean and touches Stockholm and St. Petersburg? What sea is part of the uh, Atlantic Ocean? Um, oh, geez. Oh, I feel like I know this. Um, <laughs> would it be part of the Arctic Sea? The Arctic Sea is a fantastic and wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is the Baltic Sea. Okay. Which I think of as the Forgotten Sea because nobody can ever answer that question. All right. So that was Vanessa. She gets those points. Bill, it is now your turn. Let's take a look at the topics that are left. What do we have here? All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Not really ancient history. And I'm going to exercise my vendetta on Dietra. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, Abby and Abby can quit steal. All right. Abby not really, not really ancient history. All right. Dietra, what last name is shared by the quarterback who won the first two Super Bowls and the drummer of the Beatles? Star? That is correct. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> blast you, Dietra! Wait. All right. <laughs> Thank God for the Beatles part, because I'm like, who? <laughs> yeah, me too. I was right there with you. I'm like, uh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's almost exactly what I expected to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. I just splashed water on my glasses. All right, Abby. All right, okay. I'm going to go with Shakespeare, and I'm going to give that to Vanessa. Okay, great. So, Vanessa, you get Shakespeare. Uh, Dietra and Bill still haven't used their steals, um, and uh, Dietra is uh, a theater professor. So, anyway. Oh, uh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know that, did you? All right, Vanessa, what character created by Shakespeare, has major roles in two histories and one comedy and has the most lines of any Shakespearean character. I know it. Oh, Bill knows it. What is it, Bill? Pistol. Who? No. Okay, I don't know it. Oh, that's so sad. Going to no. be penalized. Okay, oh. Vanessa. Oh, no, there's only one steal. So, Vanessa, what's the answer? He was... He Sorry, he was created by Shakespeare, so he's not a real historical figure? That is correct. That is part of the clue. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Created okay. by Shakespeare? Um, I'll say um, Puck. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is so was, sad. My favorite it character. Staff. It was Falstaff. Falstaff. And I caught it late. Mm. Bill came up with the... Too where did, where did pistol lose. come from, Bill? That's <laughs> also in uh, Henry the Fourth. It was it was a, it was an earlier iteration of Falstaff, and I got I got my uh, my characters confused. Yeah. Bill is so old; he was there when yeah, yeah. Shakespeare was <laughs> writing. It was an That's early right. version of uh, an early re the rewrites. Yes, it's true. It's true. Um, okay, so uh, that was from Abby, right? Yes. Okay, great. So now we're at, on the uh, the third round. Um, Abby, so on the map. Good for you, Abby. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, lovely disembodied voice. Um, what are the scores? Dietra has 50 points. Vanessa has 60 points. Bill has negative 10. And Abby has 20. Wow, that's harsh. Um, <laughs> I want to uh, mention now that the uh, today's winner will get a, a lovely uh, certificate. 
a digitally uh, certificate uh, at the end of the game. And there are some other awards, including most popular. And most popular is voted on right now by those people who are watching on YouTube. So if you're a fan of one of the contestants, vote now in the comment section, and they will be most popular contestant of the day. <laughs> Let me read you. This is this is the, the certificate that goes to the winner of the end round. And that goes to – it says – the certificate is awarded to blank. We don't know yet. And proving that on this day, they were the, they were smarter and or luckier than at least three other people. So <laughs> that is something that I know you all cherish and love. Um, okay. So I think we're going to move on to uh, round three, the final round. And according to my notes, uh, Dietra and Abby still have steals available. Is that right? Lovely disembodied voice? That is correct, John. Can I can I call you lovely for short? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes me. Okay, so now it's teacher's turn again. Oh. So let's take a look at the the remaining topics. Um. Let's go with music. Music. And let's go with uh, Vanessa. All right, Vanessa. <laughs> So Abby can steal. Who, Vanessa, became this month the first Latin urban artist to appear on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine and founded the Good Bunny Foundation to distribute toys to poor children in Puerto Rico? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, what's his name? Is his name like Bad Bunny or something like that? That is exactly right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. His name is Bad Bunny or something oh, like that. Yeah. It, was, it was the Good Bunny. Um, it was the Good Bunny hint. I was like, oh, there not there like an artist who's named Bad Bunny? <laughs> that is right. He's a, he's hugely successful. And, uh, you know, you're hip and young, so I don't know. Why. Oh, my God. I would have never, ever. I know. I never heard of the guy. I'm yeah, such I a never heard, heard of the guy either. either. I don't listen. Bad, bad Bunny? Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah Bad Bunny. Bad bunny. I didn't, Come on. I didn't know there were any bunnies. I, right. <laughs> I'm over here, I'm, Bill, are you? I was thinking, I'm like, J Lo? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Right there with you. And then I was like, the bull? The pit, pit bull? Like, <laughs> bad, bad Bunny, bad bunny uh, performed at the last Super Bowl. And uh, Bad Bunny, by the way, got his name because he had, was forced to go to elementary school in a rabbit costume. And he got really mad and they took a picture of him in the rabbit costume. Scowling. Is he with all the tattoos on his face? No, no, no. He, he's, but he is. Uh, he's no. He's. I mean, look him up. The fashion sense of this guy is fantastic. And I, lo I love the fact that his that his moment of shame propelled him to great right. success. Right. That's, that's like way to own it, right? Yeah, that's a nice. That's a nice way to throw it back at the at the. Movie. <laughs> right. Okay, great. So uh, I think Vanessa, it's your turn now. Yes, it is my turn. Um, can I do um? States for Abby. Yeah, states for Abby. All right. So Dietra uh, can steal. Abby cannot steal, and uh, neither can Vanessa. So states. Abby, what state's name comes from a river and uses one letter once, another letter twice, and two letters four times? Oh, oh. Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, uh, Abby said Mississippi. Dietra said. Wait, I think I, I think, I'm, I think I'm in that state right now. Wait a minute. Right, I, right, I, right. I, right. Very good, Excellent job. I, I. <laughs> no. yeah. Bill, it's your turn. Let's see what's left. Mm -hmm. What is left? Uh, oh, oh yeah. there it is. Uh, let's go with surprise. No, it's easy. It's not surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise was well, already taken. Oh, well, okay. I, all right, then I'll go with easy. Well, you don't For, have to. No, no, now you've done, it's a thing now. It's a thing, John. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm right. gonna go with easy. All right, and who are you gonna give it to? I'm gonna give it to Vanessa. Vanessa, oh. are you ready? <laughs> Abby, you could steal. Got right? it. Yes, okay, I, easy. I, I, can I not steal too? I haven't stolen yet. Oh, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. You're right. Dietra and Abby could both steal. Because, because Dietra has too few points. 
I don't know who. Not the most. <laughs> you just throw it at her. All right, all right calm right, down, right. calm down. Here's the all easy right. one. <laughs> Vanessa, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> what number is the cube root of 125 and is represented five. by the... Oh, you have to say I know it first. Oh, I know it. Five. Very good. I'm not going to stop until I hear I know it or unless nobody says I know it and then you... But that okay. works. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That's totally fine. So that's okay. five. You got that. Congratulations. That's excellent. We only have one left and we have one player left and that's Abby. Abby, what you going to do? All right. Well, this is a tough pick. Yeah, it is. But I think I'll go with space for mm -hmm. Bill. All right. all right, Bill. All I could right, actually so get on the board, maybe. You could get on the board. Uh, Deidre, yeah. you can still steal. Okay. All right. Where, where is that space question? Oh, my goodness. It's gone. Oh, here it is. Which frontier is space? The final. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so this is for Bill, right? Yes. Bill, what engineer was played by Janelle Monet in Hidden Figures and was honored by NASA last week when they named their DC headquarters after her? I don't remember her name. Yeah. That's too bad. That sucks because I can. That's pitch really it, too I bad. The name. Yep. Yep. Uh, Avila Riddick. That's very very good guess. Thank but you. But it's nowhere you. close to <laughs> so, the actual answer. Mary Jackson was the first female black engineer hired by NASA, and she was a brilliant brilliant person, and she was played by Janelle Monae in the movie Hidden Figures. And you know, so that's 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 who you get when you get a building named after you by NASA. Nobody remembers you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell, nobody remembered them in the first place until the movie. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, Point. yeah. I guess it's it's better now. Now she's a, uh, a a trivia question that people didn't get. But everybody should know Mary Jackson, Mary Jackson, Mary Jackson, Mary Jackson, Mary Jackson. Remember it's everybody, like Mary Jackson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lovely disembodied voice. What is the current score? Currently, Bill has negative 10. Oh, good. Yeah. Deetra has 50 points. Mm -hmm. Abby has 80 points. And what? Vanessa has 120 points. See? And Deetra and Abby <laughs> can still steal. All right. Fantastic. So, oh, no, there's no more steals. But I appreciate that information, lovely disembodied voice. You're doing a fantastic job. You're hired, continue. This is like a, a sort of a, a audition for the lovely disembodied voice. You got the job. Um, OK, so we're going to go on to the elimination round. But before we do, uh, let's find out a little bit about our contestants. First of all, uh, Deetra, how are you doing? What's making you happy this week? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I am. What's making me happy is uh, just being with family, but uh, that the world is changing, and it's a, it's really fascinating to watch and be witness of it, the change, and you know, just kind of watch that. Even if it's challenging, even if it's painful, the world is changing. It's really, really amazing and fascinating to be alive to watch it. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, Vanessa, how about you? How you doing? Um, I'm doing really good. Um, that also is something that's making me really happy right now. Um, it's great to see that um, the youth is really starting a revolution. Um, and also they put Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. So. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> How about you, I think, Bill? I think Mark Hamill was in that. I think he voiced him. I think he did voice work for Avatar The Last Airbender, too. So. Yes. Yes, he go. did. He was also on, uh, I think, the regular show. Uh, is why I put him in the thing. And Bill, <laughs> Bill is on a regular show. That's correct. Uh, yes. You know, for, for, for me, it is uh, probably Killing Eve, which I really enjoy oh, yeah. watching. It's a fantastic oh, show. Fantastic it, show. Yeah. Amazing female leads in, in both the hero and the villain. And uh, so that and my cats and, of course, my lovely wife. Oh, fantastic. Okay, Abby, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing good, especially because I'm back and I'm with my roommates and I'm happy to have them around and my friends who I've been in constant contact with over FaceTime because 
social distancing is appropriate who have bullied me into a new show new girl it's great highly recommend oh new girl oh great oh, fantastic yes. well let me let me just recommend rami we've been watching that lately it's a really great show uh, i think it's, it's on hulu um very very interesting and really well done so we're moving on to the elimination round so the person in first place is vanessa and the person in fourth place is bill and then the person in third place is abby and the person in third place no is that right lovely second disembodied place. voice who's in second place john the uh, contestant in second place is abby abby okay abby and uh the person in third place is Dietra. Okay, great. So the elimination round is going to go third place versus second place and then first place versus uh, fourth place. And the way it works is the person who is in um, – I've totally forgotten how all this works. The person <laughs> who is in third place chooses one of these topics that uh, my lovely producer, Yogi, who is uh, hidden away in a soundproof room – um, will now show us. It's actually not that screen. It's this one. So you're going to choose one of these three, um, and that's going to be the person who is in uh, third place, uh, and that would be uh, Dietra. So you pick a topic, and then Abby will choose whether or not to answer it or make you answer it. Okay. <clears throat> I, I see the topics are animal, vegetable, and I don't know what the other one is because everyone's oh, hidden. It's, it's mineral. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, that's yeah. We can fix that later. Not today, though. Animal, <laughs> <laughs> uh, vegetable, or mineral? Animal, Abby. All right, animal. Abby, do you want to answer that, or do you want to make teacher answer it? You know what? I think I want to answer it. All right, ready? No stealing. Plenty of time, or 15 seconds anyway. A Abby, what bird was nearly wiped out by DDT and was called a bird of low moral character by Ben, Tra ben Franklin because it often steals fish from other birds. Oh, it's a dodo bird. Oh, that is totally not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very good, uh, good question. I mean, good answer, but it's the bald eagle. And Ben Franklin said that about the bald eagle because he did not want the bald eagle to be our national symbol. He wanted the wild turkey to be our national symbol. And that's why he denigrated the bald eagle. And I'm afraid that means that you are not going to the finals, but Dietra is. So Dietra's in the final round. <laughs> but now we go on to the second round, second part of the elimination round, which Vanessa versus Bill. So Vanessa, uh, you, no, Bill, you get to choose from the remaining topics, mm -hmm. which are uh, vegetable or mineral. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one? Mineral. Mineral. Okay. Now, Vanessa, you get to choose whether you want to answer it or you want to make Bill answer it. Um, I think I'll answer it. I think, right. I think I'll try. Yeah. All right, Vanessa. What is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen and bonds with oxygen to make quartz? Hmm. I'm trying to decide between two choices in my head right now. Um, I want to say nitrogen. You want to say nitrogen? Okay. I'm going to assume that you said nitrogen. I'm saying nitrogen. Say. Yeah, yeah. Nitrogen is my answer. <laughs> Fantastic. That is not right. Oh, dang it. <laughs> the answer is silicon. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. That's the second yeah. most. Oh, wow. Okay. That is the second most uh, prevalent element in the Earth's crust, and it is what makes up quartz. Now, if you can think about it, if you thought about it, you think nitrogen and oxygen together would, would not make quartz because they're no. two gases. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I would have said carbon, so I'm, I'm glad you- I would uh, make diamonds, though. That would be too easy. Carbon doesn't exist in a solid form unless it's at an extremely high um, pressure or low temperature. Check uh, out the brain on yeah. her. I know. I, where's I, this I took AP Chem, from? so it's all in my head still. <laughs> wow, that's great. Carbon, but that. What about uh, like pencil lead? Um, that's graphite. <laughs> it's it's See? just carbon. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> all right, great. Well, in any case, 
we have a, a, a very unusual uh, result, which is Bill is going to the final round. <laughs> and he had negative points. Okay. Yeah. So before we find out who wins this game, uh, first of all, I, I just want to say congratulations to Vanessa for winning the first round and getting the most points. Yeah. You're going to get a certificate from us uh, in the mail, uh, email, or maybe uh, we'll just think about it and send it to you with our thoughts. Um, <laughs> Before we go find out uh, who wins and do the final round, we're going to just find out if you guys have anything uh, that you want to plug. I will actually go first and say that you and everybody else who's watching can get a physical copy of this game in a few months. It's, uh, it has been out of print because of COVID, but I'm doing a Kickstarter, and I'm starting that very, very soon. If you want to find out about that, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel or go to www.youknowitthegame.com. That's www.youknowitthegame.com and sign up for the newsletter there and you can actually order a free downloadable version of this game that you can play at home. So that's my pitch. Anybody have anything else that they want to pitch? Deidre? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so much going on, but it's there's not, but I'm working on a project that should be coming out Um It'll be a little bit, but uh, it's a performance art piece, my very first one. And so just look out for that in the future uh, on my uh, Instagram, which is I, what is it? I, L I am L -A, L A N Y sugar. Uh, it'll probably be posted there. Okay, and great. We'll, we'll put that in the comments down below so that people yeah. can remember that. <laughs> Excellent. How about you, Vanessa? Anything to pitch? Um, I want to say um, supporting local businesses, especially restaurants, because a lot of them are struggling right now um, and no one wants to eat. Um, no one wants to eat out or anything, but everyone's working really hard. And some of the uh, bigger initiatives that some celebrity chefs are leading aren't necessarily helping all the smaller um, restaurants. So supporting local businesses is really great right now. OK, great. Uh, Bill? Uh, yeah, I'm working on something really exciting, and I can't tell anybody about it. That's great. Uh, yeah. So instead, what I'll talk about is uh, on L.A. Talk Radio, there is a show called uh, Combat Radio run by Ethan Detmeyer. And the, the thrust of this whole show, which is really about pop culture and, uh, and Hollywood uh, then and now, is uh, getting... Uh, getting food uh, to homeless kids in LA, uh, getting food to them, getting get, getting them a Christmas when they wouldn't have one otherwise. And uh, that's something that I've been working on for a few years and it's dear to my heart and I hope you check it out. Okay, fantastic. And we'll, we'll put a, a link to that in the, in the comics below too. Thank you. Abby? Um, I would just say, Still support your support your healthcare workers. Oh because yeah. Still, it is still a hard time, and coming from someone that is going to be in the workforce in healthcare in a year, support your support your health. You're studying to be a nurse, right? Yes. Okay. Thank Great. you, Abby. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Yeah, and my 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 plug sounded so cheesy and help, but it's really about a, a, a the bit what's happening. But I do want to say this: wear your mask. Please do not believe what your friends are telling you outside of. Listen to the CDC. Who listen to the scientists? They know what they're talking about. <laughs> it's right. Awesome. And that was not cheesy, teacher. Really, no. No. Your project it's is awesome. Self -involved. It's like, oh. oh, no, no, no. Mine is completely self-involved. It's totally fine. I don't want to <laughs> denigrate you. Mine is, it's all about me. All right. So now we're in the final round, though. It's Bill versus Dietra. Now, uh, Dietra has got, uh, actually, lovely disembodied voice. Who's got the most points? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dietra has 130 points, and Bill has 110. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't really explain this uh, uh, to the, the viewers at home, but during the elimination round, if you beat somebody, you get all their points. But Dietra is in first place. So that means that this final question is really all about stealing. OK, mm. so if you know it, you want to yell out, I know it. If nobody says I know it, then Bill has to answer. And if he gets it wrong, Dietra wins. If he gets it right, then he wins. And the final question is vegetable. Mm. Okay, 
So remember, if you know it, yell out, I know it. What is the most produced grain in the United States and was first cultivated in ancient Mexico? Bill. Oh, that's me. I'm supposed to answer that. You are. Uh, unless, yeah. Okay, let's go with uh, corn. Corn! Ah! Bill wins! Ah! <laughs> wow. It was... comes from negative points to win. It wins it. How fantastic and exciting that is. That was that exciting. Is, that is fantastic. I, I swear, Bill, brilliant. Because I literally was like, okay, the South. First thought. <laughs> and then I went yeah. down all the list of what great, you know, in my head or which ones. And I was like, eh, this one is Yeah, I, 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 Dietra, I would have bet against me. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great. So now it's time for awards. We're going to make a, an award to uh, to Bill for winning the final game. Ta -da, ta -da! Congratulations. And then, Thank uh, you. We'll pretend that this is a different certificate, and this goes to Vanessa for coming in first in the first three rounds. Da -da -da! And uh, favorite professor goes to Dietra Payne. Congratulations. Fantastic. And favorite future nurse goes to Abby. Thank you Yay! so much for playing. Please pay attention for uh, looking out for that Kickstarter that I'm going to start because I'm going to need everybody's help to really make that successful. And I really, really deeply appreciate you all playing. Uh, and this is going to be live on, I mean, it's, gonna, it's live on YouTube, but it's going to be recorded so you can tell your friends and send it out and say, tell everybody you won so they watch it till the end. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. All right, great. So Yogi who walked away in, in, uh, in, uh, in a, a soundproof booth somewhere, sweating away. Please play us out with that final tune. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye.